this idea about small boutique in my mind for a very long time. And um, once I just decided that the time has come, I have this in my mind. And I found uh, my old um, friend Marex, who knew Everita. The idea she had for it, that it should be um, an apartment. She talked already with Wanda, who is Madame Bonbon right now, and from the beginning. So the idea was to make this uh, apartment of hers as it would be more like a boudoir when she welcomes in um, her friends and make nice evenings and, and talk about life and travel and shoes, of course, because shoes should be everywhere. Actually, the bed which you see here is, is for that, that um, they can lie down and actually think and try and their friends um, are also here and this is a process all together. More about, you know, like lifestyle and nice time together, not so much about shopping and spending money. My attraction to Spanish shoes started um, once uh, when I was visiting Spain, first time in my life, and uh, somehow uh, all the shoe shops were on my way during my shopping um, agenda. My impression was that all these Spanish designers have, have such a nice shoes, Pura Lopez and Pedro Garcia and Jimmy Carr and all these nice, nice, uh, my favorite um, designers, uh, they were creations from them at that time. So this was my first impression about Spanish design. This is a niche, like this is a product which will never be uh, uh, for everyone and um, you will probably not wear it every day. This is a shoe as I wouldn't like to say that this is a fetish, but the shoe is uh, as much important as as your face or as your you know, nicest piece of, uh, of uh, clothing. What I love about fashion and, and design that it's, a, it's such an art what people can do nowadays and shoes is one of those things. So when I have one beautiful piece of shoes, kind of nice pair, sometimes I just put it on a shelf and, and look at them.